Hi and welcome. Uh, I hope you are good. Uh, in this video, I'll talk about how to uh, check the presence of a word in a string or in a collection of string strings. Uh, so now the collection of strings could be a vector or it could be a particular column uh, in a data frame. So uh, uh, so we are checking for the presence of a word. We can uh, do the same. Uh, instead of word, we can check for a pattern. But in this video, uh, I'll take an example for a word, a complete word. Uh, so basically, we'll find out that in that collection of string or in that uh, in, in a particular vector of strings, whether that word is present or it is not present. So basically, so so we'll get an output uh, as a true and false vector whose length will be the same as the the length of the vector of strings. So I'll be using string R uh, library. Uh, function from the string R library as well as I will use the base R uh, function from base R as well to do the same thing. So let's start with uh, loading the string R library. Okay, so I have loaded the string R library. Uh, in case uh, this library is not installed, then you'll have to just run install dot packages string R. Okay, since it's already installed, so I'll just load it. Okay, so now coming on to creating the scenario for this. So what I have done is I have created a data frame out of uh, Marvel movies, the movies from the Marvel Marvel universe. So let's just look at it. Okay, so this these are all the movies from the Marvel universe, uh, starting from the first uh, movie, the Iron Man, which is launched in May two thousand eight. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll consider only the movie column here and that to the first 10 rows so that we have uh, a, a vector of strings which is visible on the screen. Uh, you know, complete uh, string is visible on the screen. So and another thing is I'll convert this into lower letters. So let's see which all movies comes in the 10, top 10. So basically top 10 uh, in the sense from the starting in terms of date. So first movie is the Iron Man, which was launched uh, first and then and then the other movies. So I have a vector here, uh, which uh, is a collection of uh, movies. Now my objective is to check the presence of the word of a word. Now use, let's start with string R uh, package. Okay, so uh, I want to check the presence of the word captain uh, in all in all these uh, movie names. So the the function that would that could be used to do this is str underscore detect. Uh, when we look at this function, so what uh, so it expects two uh, arguments. First is the string. So this this is as a collection of strings. And the pattern pattern in this in our case is the word so we want to check the presence of the word captain so what we'll do is uh, let's str underscore detect so our string is strings strings then our pattern in this case is okay just a minute this is captain so i'm looking for c-a-p-t-i-a-n Okay, so I'll again print strings. Okay, so now we got the output as false, false, true, and uh, then again some false and true. Now we'll we will look at this first true, which is uh, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth, the fifth entry uh, in this vector is true. That means captain is present in the fifth item, and then the second last, that is eighth and ninth the ninth one so captain is present here as well so by using str underscore detect we can find a particular word in a vector of strings now again doing the same thing for uh, thor so str underscore detect again strings and then thor so uh, so basically this is the syntax so str underscore detect it first expects a string and then then the pattern or the word so let's see okay so we have in the fourth uh, string there is thor and in the third last so if we look at the fourth thor is there 
and then in the fourth third last uh, yeah so thought is present so this way we can find whether a particular word is present in the in in the vector of strings now using the base r so this was uh, till now we have been we looked at this the function from a string r package now we can do the similar thing in in uh, base r as well the uh, good thing about string r package is the functions are very intuitive uh, by reading at the function name you will understand what it's what it is trying to do for example str underscore detect it will detect the presence of a word or a pattern in a string but uh, in base r the words the, you know, the if you if you have not used it uh, at the at the first at first sight the functions are not very intuitive but uh, they can very well be used to do the same thing so let's do the same thing using a uh, base r now the function to do this is grep l so to uh, the syntax for grep l is we have the function name then a pattern and a string now if you compare it with str detect the sequence of arguments are reversed in str detect the strings comes first string come first and the pattern later whereas in case of grep l the patterns pattern or the word way which we are searching comes first and then next the string which is which could be a collection of string as in our case so so let's try to again find thor sorry let's find captain so we can do g r e p l we want the pattern pattern in our case is captain and then the string is uh, the vector or this could be a single uh, uh, a vector with a single entry or multiple entries so it, in our case it's strings okay now we run it you can see here i have run it i'll just uh, clear the screen and do it again so we have we print strings So again, the same thing. Uh, the first entry, the fifth entry has the word captain, and the second last entry has the word captain. Similarly, if we do it for Thor, find Thor. So G R E P L Thor, comma strings. Okay, so the again the same. Uh, this is equivalent to str underscore detect strings comma thor. And the above one is equivalent to captain so uh, when we look at the output for searching thor uh, thor is there again in the four, fourth entry and in the third last fourth and the third last this is the same what we saw earlier so we can use string r as well as uh, use the uh, string r package as well as use the base r package to do the same thing now uh, let's uh, summarize whatever i have done summary so if I have a pattern, in this case, let's say again captain. Now this could be a word, like I'm just calling it a pattern right now, or let's call it word, because I've been referring to word. So using string r, if I want to search the word captain, then it will be string, sorry, str underscore detect. strings which would be the vector of strings and the word whatever you are looking for if you are using base r you can do it using g r e p l now in this case the uh, the sequence of arguments are reversed so the word come first and then string 
the strings. Let's run it again. The strings is strings. Okay. So I have word. I am looking for the word. In this case, it's uh, captain. Again, this uh, the output of uh, true and false vector using a string R, and then using the base R. So both output are same. So that's all for today. Uh, so in this uh, in this video, I talked about searching for a single word. Uh, there might be cases where we want to search for a pattern or uh, a collection of words. Maybe we want two or more words to be present. Uh, in in a particular string or collection of strings those those uh, questions i'll cover in the coming videos so thank you and i hope it was useful take care